The Seahawks come to Chicago, but they can't come away with a win. They lose 24-17 to the Bears and drop to 0-2 on the young season. I was really disappointed that we didn't show better in the first half. Uh, we, the first half just was much of a carryover from last week. We got sacked a bunch of times and couldn't get rolling and didn't convert on third down again on offense. Um, once we got out of the penalty situation with the defense, we, the guys played really good. The Seahawks were missing three starters on defense, and the Bears took advantage on their opening drive, marching all the way down the field and scoring a touchdown. I mean, they're going to throw play like the first 15 plays of you, you know, just, they scheme up, and then after that, it's got to make adjustments. But we had a lot of penalties the first drive, and I think if we uh, cut back on those, we'd have got, got a third down stop, and it could have been a different ball game. In the second quarter, Shaq Griffin makes Mitchell Trubisky think twice. Literally, he picks off the Bears quarterback twice on back-to-back -back drives. Um, the first one, they just took a shot, and I feel like I'm the main thing I did right was just stay calm. Um, I've been waiting to get one like that, you know, because that's all we do is practice on is you know getting the ball. And I, that's, that's the main thing I wanted to work on this year was actually getting the ball in my hand. And the whole time, I would just stay calm and. Uh, and I seen it, I just thought it was mine. And uh, that's the mindset I came with, you know, with both footballs just sitting in the air. So uh, that's pretty much how I, how I seen it. <laughs> thrilled to see him take the deep ball and own it, and then he made another big play. He's playing great football. He, he really is. He's, he's on it. He has been all through the entire preseason. He's been on his stuff, and he's playing as good as anybody. And, and uh, his play can stand up to anybody that's playing right now. In the second half, the Seahawks offense gets going with a little no huddle and hurry up, finally finding a little bit of tempo and rhythm that they were missing in the first half. And it results in pay dirt to Tyler Lockett. It's something that, you know, I've been working with Brett Hundley, you know, on at the practice. Uh, you know, he was just throwing fades to me. Even Magoo had threw some fades to me a little bit at the practice. Keenan Reynolds pretended as if he was a DB, like working me, working me, because I wanted to get back to the deep ball stuff. And, you know, I was telling Russell, I was working on it, working on it, doing that type of stuff. And, you know, he trusted me, threw me the ball, and I was able to kind of get myself in position to be able to make that tough catch. The Seahawks closed the gap, but the Bears answered, capitalizing on a couple of turnovers, a fumble, and a pick six from Russell Wilson. I made a good play. Uh, put his foot in the ground, made a good play. Um, uh, and so uh, that's what it was. You know, we kept fighting, though. We still, um, we, we could have a chance, and uh, we've done it before, and, and unfortunately um, it didn't work. But I think, I think the thing that uh, really showed up was the resilience. Um, and I'm always going to say that. I think that uh, the one thing um, that we always want to be able to have, I think winning teams have, and we, we're going to find our way here, uh, really, I believe, really soon, is resilience. And we had gone to this kind of going to the well, you know, he had a running back out there and, and he, he hung for it and, and really he just took a shot at it and he was right and he made a great play. He made a perfect play. So the Seahawks are already looking towards the future with their sights set on the home opener next week against the Cowboys. I'm going to bounce back. You know, I got a home game next week, so I uh, finally get to play home and uh, just got to get a win. Even in our successful, you know, some of our best, best years, um, it didn't always look great at the beginning, but it's how you finish and how, how we can turn it around and just play the next game. Uh, you know, and we get to go back home and, and play in Seattle, and we're going to need the 12 a lot, and we're going to need that feeling. The final score from Chicago, 24-17, as the Bears take the game and the Seahawks fall to 0-2.